Breaking news, Bob Arum revealed that Vasil Lomachenko is not interested in a Devin Haney undisputed fight right away since he needs a tuna fight first. In other words, Vasil Lomachenko turned down a Devin Haney undisputed fight for a third tuna fight. He already had two tuna fights last year against Teofimo Lopez leftovers, but apparently that's still not enough tune-ups for the Matrix. He also needs another tune-up before fighting the undisputed dream, Devin Haney. Well, the undisputed champion Devin Haney responded to the news by stating, quote, tune this D. I want the fight now. I'm the champion. I don't have to wait on no one. End of the quote. Listen, how is the so-called Matrix needs three tuna fights only to get ready for a real fight against the Devin Haney? Then he can't be the Matrix. He got to be a slow trick, respectfully. And I don't want to hear he's coming back from a war. Keep that excuse because his best friend Usyk is fighting Anthony Joshua two weeks from now. Why didn't Usyk need a tuna fight? That's right. Usyk did not request a tuna fight because he's coming off a layoff and a war. Absolutely not. Usyk was ready to jump back in there in a real fight right away, even though he could have had a tuna fight if he wanted to, since Anthony Joshua was about to have a tuna fight against Waller. So Lomachenko best friend Usyk could have had a tuna fight as well. However, he chose to go back in there in a real fight right away against Anthony Joshua. Unlike Lomachenko, Usyk chose to jump back in there in a real fight. Right away, no tune-ups. Keep in mind, when Usyk was in the Ukraine, he was actually in the heart of the war, in Kyiv. On the other hand, according to Bob Arum, Lomachenko, he was by the beach where the war wasn't that heavy. It wasn't that bad compared to where Usyk lived in Kyiv, which is understandable because Kyiv is obviously the capital. Therefore, this is the best side-by-side -side comparison you could ever have. On one hand, look at what Usyk is doing. He's very feel. He's about legacy. He beat Anthony Joshua and he came back for more. On the other hand, Vasil Lomachenko lost to Teofimo Lopez, did not redeem himself, had two tuna fights, and he coming back for a third tuna fight instead of fighting Devin Haney, the undisputed dream. Keep in mind, Lomachenko said out of his own mouth that becoming the lightweight undisputed champion is his dream. Well, the dream Devin Haney is bringing that to the table. And Vasil is still not interested. Lomachenko said that Floyd Mayweather is his dream fight. But ironically, Lomachenko continues to duck Floyd Mayweather prodigy, Devin Haney. Lomachenko turned down multiple fights against Devin Haney, and he continues to do so for so-called tuna fights. One time against Nakatani, this time against I don't know who. Nevertheless, the point is Lomachenko is the only fighter that needs all these tuna fights to fight a real fight. I mean, you have Crawford, for example, who's been less active than Lomachenko while fighting against a higher level of opposition and coming off a longer layoff than Lomachenko. You don't hear Crawford requesting a tune-up ahead of the biggest fight in boxing against the toughest opponent yet in pound for pound number two, Errol Spence. Absolutely not. Instead, it's the contrary. Crawford is running right to the smoke. Like I said, keep in mind, Crawford last fight was last November against Sean Porter while Lomachenko last fight was last December against Kome. Now, if you do the math, Lomachenko is expected to return in October while Crawford is expected to return in November, December. So Crawford have been out of the ring longer, but he don't care about no tuna fight. He's not requesting a tuna fight. He wants the real smoke, the real fight right away, unlike Lomachenko. So did Errol Spence when he came off a long layoff and injuries, like an eye injury, and also when he survived a car accident in a miracle way. He fought the champions right away. He fought the tough fights right away. No tune-up. And I don't want to hear no war excuse because literally Lomachenko's best friend, Usyk, 
he's doing the same thing. No tune up. He's fighting Anthony Joshua right away. In fact, he fighting Anthony Joshua two weeks from now. At the end of the day, or at least the night, it's as clear as day. The fact that Lomachenko ducked his mandatory Devin Haney and vacated, he got stripped of his WBC title for ducking his mandatory Devin Haney. And now, ironically, that same fighter Devin Haney became what Lomachenko was dreaming of becoming, which is the lightweight undisputed king. No wonder Lomachenko ducked Devin Haney. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace. And I'm on to the next one. But you were just saying that I had the belt. So which one is it? Make up your mind. He know he gave me his belt. He know behind closed doors that he gave me that belt. When nobody was there, we met up and he said, hey, Devin. <laughs> Look it off. Hey, Devin. <laughs> oh, you got to get you. Well, that's the crazy part. They petitioned not to fight Devin Haney, but Devin Haney always petitioned to fight. You petitioned to fight Lomachenko. You didn't ask for the title. You petitioned to fight who was at the time, pound for pound, Lomachenko. Youngest undisputed champion in boxing history, man. I'm talking about the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, the IBF, the ringside belt. The ring, ring, ring magazine belt. The ring magazine belt. The franchise belt. And the email. And the email. I'm so happy you added, added that email yeah, in Yeah, he does shit. <laughs> ain't nobody done. All these, oh, you ain't no real champ. They emailed the belt. Yeah, because I was going to email ass whipping with whoever got in there with me. I mean, they emailed me about why? Because Lomachenko said, I ain't fighting that. Too long, too strong, too fast. The work is too good. <laughs> but now, you got all the belts now. All Ain't them. it funny how I don't want to fight you? And then you get all the belts. And now, want to fight you. It's crazy It's crazy how, how, how tables turn, right? Tables turn. Yeah. The moment was the franchise champion. That's a way that the WBC has of stripping a guy without really stripping him. But then the regular champion is considered a notch below the franchise champion. But you say because no, you no. have that belt, you're disputing his tail's claim to the title? No, the franchise title is a, is a way to duck your mandatory. I have mandatories. I'm the WBC champion and I have mandatories. When I was his mandatory, he petitioned to become a franchise champion to where he didn't have any mandatories. Devin Haney has mandatories. The By franchise the way, title I... is for ducks. A franchise champion means you didn't have to fight your mandatory. That's a duck. So Devin collects the belt because what else is he supposed to do? So when you say, you can't say Tia Fimo has all the belts or Tia Fimo's undisputed or Tia Fimo is the champion in, in, in the lightweight division because there's still one more belt. He has a franchise title. I'm a WBC world champion. Do you believe at 20 years old, you're ready for that type of challenge? I think you said his name, his name wrong. It's no Machinko because he doesn't want to fight me. But it's, uh, you know, uh, I feel like I'm ready for the fight. Uh, you know, uh, this is the WBC mandatory. So, uh, no Machinko, come on, man. Let's get this fight going. A lot of guys have said they want Lomachenko. You're the next on that list. No Machinko. My mistake.